Boy, I'm Ray. I'm Cynthia. And you're watching Real Men Wear Kilts. How's everybody doing today? A um, couple things. First, we want to really encourage people to subscribe to our channel, please. When we get 400 subscribers on YouTube, we're going to have some benefits opened up to us, mm -hmm. primarily us being able to name our channel in the URL. Yes. So uh, please do that, uh, subscribe. But then also, comment below and give us a thumbs up on on youtube as well as here on facebook right. if you're seeing this on facebook too because we get risen higher in the youtube ratings when you comment and when you uh, give us thumbs up and and everything but today is the much awaited Whis whiskey review uh, whiskey review <laughs> so, i think i've been drinking already <laughs> Um, today, so, what are we, um, today, well, first off, yeah. I, I've been, she's got a story here. Yeah, I mean. I've been researching all this, um, with, with, the, as I drink the scotch whiskey, then I'll go back and I'll research it online. Mm. And I am genetically pre-diabetic, like always, doesn't matter if I eat what I eat, nothing. I'm always pre-diabetic and I'm reading it here and it says, so far as the health experts go, um, Whiskey has, scotch has been praised, let's see, I've got my notes, I don't forget to tell you these things, that they can, it can help prevent heart attacks, mm -hmm. blood clots, strokes, dementia, which mm -hmm. is a really good one, and even cancer. Yeah. So that was really good news. And then there was even more good news, especially for me, that is pre-diabetic. It says spirits on their own, like whiskey, vodka, mm -hmm. rye, rum and gin um, have no significant carbs in there and therefore do not push your blood sugar up. Yeah. And whiskey especially has no carbs whatsoever. Scotch yeah. whiskey has no carbs. Yeah. So if you're doing keto or you're doing any kind of, of, of lifestyle where you're watching your sugar, drink scotch. <laughs> well, in fact, uh, the American I think American Diabetes Association yes. or something said that they, they're the scotch is the only thing they recommend. All the right. others vodka, gin, rum, still have hidden sugars and could have carbs and, and everything. But scotch is the only right. alcohol approved by the American Diabetes Association or whatever. Yeah. So, yep. so that's the good news for encouraging you to drink scotch. Yay, scotch. Yep. Plus all the health benefits that she mentioned, too. <laughs> yes, plus it makes you silly, too. Yeah, that, too. <laughs> Friendly and silly. Um, also, I was reading about how newbies like me should drink scotch, and I am spot on, because it says scotch is actually best at room temperature. Mm -hmm. But if you're going to drink it with either water or, or with, with ice, um, to do it, to put... Fill the glass with ice, yeah. not big chunks of ice, small chunks of ice, then pour the scotch over it and then let it, let it air mm -hmm. and so you can get the, the flavors and the smells. Well, so I'm doing it right as, as yep. a newbie's supposed to do it. Yeah. Now we tried, she tried those granite stones. Mm -hmm. Now yeah. they don't get, they don't get cold. Nah. Enough. I mean, it was just almost like room temperature putting yeah. them in. So for me, they did not work downer on the granite yeah. stones yeah um and then also we froze those really big mm -hmm. that big ice cube you the like big ice cube. i did like the big ice cube. yeah the big ice cube yeah. she liked and everything but we have we have all of our scotch upstairs on a on a, a bar outside of our outside of our bedroom and we've got one of these little bitty ice makers ice makers made by emerson i think it was like 125 dollars. i'll put the little, link down it's yeah. a great, it's a great ice, ice maker uh, if you like to chew ice it's even better yeah. it won't break your teeth it's soft ice it's good like ice sonic. it's yeah. good it's sonic kind of like ice sonic yeah, I and mean, everyone knows Sonic Ice. Yeah, I guess if you're in, but it's it's uh, she likes it a lot in her scotch, mm -hmm. and uh, and it and it freezes really fast. Doesn't make a lot of noise, um, and so and just makes perfect amounts of right. ice, just right. enough to keep upstairs and right. keep for your 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 little bar yeah. and, and. You don't need like any that. water running to it. You just mm -hmm. pour the water in like you would a, yeah. a Keurig or, some, yeah. or a coffee pot. So, yeah, yeah. So it's super simple. Really yeah, super, great, super little simple. My, little, great little my great little ice machine. Yep. Yeah. And so. today we're talking about two different scotches, and I liked them both. They're both peaty scotches. I was surprised. Yeah, I was surprised too. I tasted a peaty scotch a while back. Didn't go even go any further than tasting yeah, it because it was like sticking my tongue into an ashtray. You know, an ashtray. I didn't like it. Yeah. I guess after drinking the scotches I've been drinking, maybe I've built up Her more tongue is starting to get used to scotch right. and developing flavors. Right. So the first one that I, I tasted first was Tom and Tool. It's a PD, it's called Tom and Tool PD Tang. It's 
what this is. It's 40% ABV, which is, is good. It is, it's made in Speyside over in Scotland. Mm -hmm. um, it has a real delicate flavor to it. It's, they call it a grassy perfumed whiskey. Yeah. And it's a hev but it is a heavily peated one. Mm -hmm. um, it's a really pretty, it's a real pretty golden color. It uh, has floral notes in it, but the peat in it is what dominates it. Mm -hmm. And I, I did not like a peaty uh, scotch until I tasted this one. Mm -hmm. And this one, I tasted it, and it was like, I couldn't put my, my finger on what the, what the taste was. It was a very familiar taste to me. But I could not put my finger on it. Well, just so just so you know, the peated whiskey that I gave her the first time was Talisker Storm. That's right, my very it's first a, one. <laughs> it's a 97 percent uh, ABV. Uh -huh. uh, Talisker Storm is very peated, very peppery, mm -hmm. um, iodine, right. um, seaweed, and and so it's a pretty strong yeah. scotch. I and didn't even put my tongue in it. To I taste didn't even. I didn't water it down. Didn't put any ice <laughs> over it. I just said, here, give this a taste, yeah. and and yeah, kind of litter up. Yeah. So, yeah. so this this was really a nice a nice change, but when you when I was tasting it, I'm, I was telling Raymond, I'm like, what am I tasting? It's it's so familiar, and he says, he says, just think of smoked meat, and it yeah, was like, bacon. oh my gosh, it's like it's like drinking smoked heavily smoked bacon or heavily mm -hmm. smoked ham. Yeah, it has that really really smoky and mm -hmm. peaty flavor, but I'm like, I can be drinking bacon. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. So, um, my taste profiles is, I mean, this is one of my more favorite peated mm -hmm. scotches. It's peated, but it isn't like uh, Ardbeg, which I also enjoy Ardbeg and everything. Ardbeg is, is very peated. Yeah. Uh, and I haven't tried Octachan, Octatan or Octa. It's by, um, oh, who makes that? Uh, Bowinnie or uh, Brookladish is uh, octa, octa, octa cane or whatever octa but it's it, 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 it's the hi <laughs> highest peated scotch in the world and so i haven't tried that one but this i really enjoy a lot Me too it was it is it's very buttery and in fact it's, it calls it says it right here the gentle dram um but it is it, it reminds me of a good piece of bacon and um and it has the, a lot of the spe space side flavors to it, not the the Isla flavors to it. So a lot of heather, a lot of you you, you do taste the grass, the heather, uh, citruses, um, just a, just a good buttery, citrusy, grassy, you know, hammy, hammy. hammy. Yeah, that is but it's our hammy scotch. It's it's good. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> and the cost is about thirty five dollars a bottle. Not a bad for a a, a good bottle of scotch. But worth trying. I encourage you to give that one a try. Yeah. Um, but good stuff. It is. it is. I didn't even have to put water with it. I just yeah. added the ice in the glass. Ice, and, and she, yeah, and she likes it. it. And it was, it I was mean, good. You can see how much she's already. <laughs> she said she's liked it. <laughs> she's liked it, yes. <laughs> I only think I drank once, right? Yeah. <laughs> Whoops. Couple times. Couple times. Yeah, that sounds better. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Next so, one there. Um, is teachers in the teachers. half gallon size. <laughs> um, go ahead. <laughs> teachers in in America when they bought for, for here, it's yeah. 43% forty three percent. Forty three percent ABV. Uh huh. Other parts in the world, I read when I was researching it, are usually forty APV. So. We get a little bit more bang for our buck here, maybe. No, it's yeah, it's forty, and we get forty-three. We have forty-three. It's forty. For yeah. The rest of the world. Mm -hmm. um, it is. It has over thirty single malt whiskeys in it. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of blending of malt whiskeys. Yeah. Third room. The main one that you taste, I believe, is Ardmore. 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 Yeah. That's the that's the that's main the primary one. Primary blend. The primary blend in it. Um, it has a. It's barley sugared whiskey is another way that they that they. Um, it described it online. Mm -hmm. For me, he gave me um, the glass to taste, and I'm I, I was taking a taste and just dipping and sipping, and I thought, you know, it's a very comforting yeah. taste. In fact, I totally the thing I could think of was like a um, uh, oh the cabin the in light, the woods. Yeah, the light painter. Um, my brain just died. What is his name? Okay. Oh, Thomas Kincaid. <laughs> Thomas Kincaid, you know he's the light painter. And all I could think of was, was a really warm little cabin with light coming through the windows mm -hmm. in the winter. Because And that sounds like a really weird way to describe a whiskey. But it was very, very smooth. Very, very good. And it was almost too easy to get down. Yeah. I liked it really well. Yeah. 
Teachers is one of my go-to favorites. Um, and uh, again, it's the, the peated high and peated malt. And the interesting thing about Teachers as a blend is that it when it's blend you're taking a you're taking malted whiskey and then grain alcohol and blending them together well teachers uh most most blends have about a 20 to 30 percent uh malt whiskey blend where teachers has about 45 47 uh percent malted whiskey blend so you're getting more of that malt flavor in the whiskey as well as a good good solid peat good, solid. i mean it's it's a night it's not overbearing it's this is a great whiskey to introduce people to the peated flavor yes um you you can add a little bit of drop water to it because it is malted it's, a, it's got the malt whiskey in it so you can release some of the flavors and and everything um when I've made it for Cynthia, I've just poured a little bit of water because it is 43 ABV also. <laughs> and, so it just um, puts a lot of water in it for me. And then some <laughs> ice, but it is a great yeah. whiskey. Uh, the negative that you read about on when you read a lot of the reviews about teachers and such is that... <laughs> yeah. We had to learn how to get it right up yeah, in the right camera. camera. Right the, <laughs> um, the negatives is the consistency. And uh, I mean, I have had some incredible bottles of Teachers Highland Cream, and then I've had some okay bottles. Uh, this bottle that we got here seems to be on the on the okay side. Pretty good, you know, pretty good. Where there's been some bottles where I guess the grain alcohol is coming out more and not as much malted flavor or something like that. Uh, but a regular bottle probably costs about $17, 18 for a 750 milliliter. Half gallon is, is 30 bucks. So, you know, hey, go for the half gallon. That way you don't have to go to the store that often. And this is, this is actually a really good everyday scotch. So if you're, if you're having a weed dram every day, this is good where your, your Tama tool will be for the weekends and special occasions. This is good for every day. Um, but both of these are really good peated scotches. I enjoy them a lot myself too. But Teachers is, is a great go-to. You'll see a lot of people out there giving it positive reviews. And, and it's inexpensive too, which makes it a really good right. everyday scotch. It, teachers is going to be a favorite. So that. come closer. So, oops, okay. I'll say Teachers is going to be a favorite. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, really good scotch. Uh, what else? That's good for the scotch. Okay. And again, please do us a favor. Go to YouTube and make sure that you subscribe to our channel and ring that little bell so that you get notified whenever you, we put a new video up. And then also make comments below and give us a thumbs up. So thumbs up also on Facebook and comments below on Facebook because, again, that raises us in the YouTube, um, YouTube ratings as well as Facebook ratings. So do us that favor. Thumbs up. Yeah. Comment below. And ring that little bell on youtube can so. i just say one more thing yes you may <laughs> i just want to tell you guys it's been so much fun to watch how this group is growing mm -hmm. we have some of the best people and the thing that i hear consistently is that the group is positive that the members in the group are very good at encouraging the other members which makes mm -hmm. makes us just feel great yeah. it's just so good to see somebody post a picture and then see all the wonderful responses below mm -hmm. it. So we thank you. Thank you for doing that. Yeah. We really yeah. do appreciate your comments, your responses. The more comments and responses we get on Facebook, the more Facebook will promote our group, yeah. which also is a, a good thing because the more people we get, the more... Um, Inter interaction, interaction and yeah, activity interaction. And, so, and everything. Yeah, like and feel free, you know, yeah. feel free to, to make comments. Feel free to friend us if you mm -hmm. want to know more yeah. about our, our personal lives. Mm -hmm. Feel free and friend us. I mean... Yeah. We're we're kind of open books now. We don't have nothing to hide. I mean, we I drink whiskey. He drinks whiskey now. And yep. <laughs> um, another thing too, I I really work hard at not having any rules. Right. But I really ask that people we don't have any kilt police or kilt Nazis mm -hmm. in there. Um, people enjoy what they want to wear, and as long as it's a kilt, I really don't care. Right. Um, now, when so, you start getting into dresses and everything, that's another thing. But kilts is cool. 
Uh, and then also um, just be nice, play nice, play be nice, nice play yeah. nice, no assholes. <laughs> and we're going to be coming over to going over to Scotland this fall, probably yep. in September. September for at least two weeks. Yep. So we're kind of trying to read up and get mm -hmm. more knowledgeable about. It. So when we get over there, yep. we can we can take you with us yep. as we go all over Scotland. And, and then those of you who reason. live over there, yeah, we want to meet you. We'd love to meet you and, someplace, have lunch, and mm -hmm. so. you show us some of your little part of Scotland and and everything too. We'd love to Be see fun. that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's all I had to say. Yep, me too. We'll <laughs> see you. Goodbye, God bless, and kilt on. Um.